What's going on guys? Um, I'll be back here for another video. Today, I'm doing a review. Uh, a couple days ago, actually, it's like about a week ago, I ordered the Xbox One Elite controller because, you know, I needed a second controller, but, you know, I wanted a second controller, you know, that I, that I like and that I actually use. Um, so I ordered it off of eBay, and it got here to Claire. But by the time we got to Claire, Claire sent it back. And I messaged the seller on eBay. I was like, hey, you know, can, once you get it, can you send it back? She's like, oh, yeah, sure, you know, no problem. You know, I thought, cool, you know, sweet. I'm going to get my controller here within the next couple days. Get a notification saying that the seller canceled my order and then refunded me. You know, cool. He refunded me. And so, you know, I got a little irritated. I was like, hey, you know, I thought you were going to send me the controller. You know, blah, blah, blah. And everything like that. And, well, he just decided, you know, not to. So, to that guy, thumbs down, dude. Um... Communication was thumbs up though. So I was I was online or on eBay again looking and I found one. That was a lot cheaper. And so I messaged the seller, I was like, okay, you know, I why is you know, anything wrong with it? And he said no. The only thing that, you know, might be a problem but I'm not sure if it is anymore is that the paddle for the uh, controller might be a little sticky anyways I'm gonna get right down to the point I'm doing a review today because I got it in the mail today this morning I tried it out on on my Xbox I got it all synced up got all the button mappings the way I wanted it to Really awesome controller, I like it. Anyways, let's dive down to it. Okay. We got the case, which, you know, it's pretty awesome. Right here is the controller. Now, what I noticed is that it's slightly heavier than, you know, the normal Xbox One controller. Now, we could take these off and put different ones on there that are slightly longer. I'm going to show you the difference. See the size difference? Yeah. And you, you can customize them how any way you want. We even got another ones right here that are slightly longer. These ones right here are the tallest. Okay. Take that out. If you flip it over, these little slots right here are for the the paddles. They're in a T-shape, so you could put them in like so. And they go in just like that. And these are magnetic, so. They hold in pretty well. Now he did, if you do notice, you can see that there's numbers. P1, P2, P3, and P4. Those stand for paddles. Now what he was telling me is that this one right here was a little sticky. If you notice, hear that? Clicks. This one don't really click. But, it don't matter. It works. I'm happy. Awesome. Now, these ones, right, these little switches right here, I thought they were to lock in, you know, the paddles. So that way you could use only the paddles and not your buttons. I'm speaking of that. I'm going to put mine on. 
There we go. There's, hold on, guys. God damn it. They just go on like so. They're magnetic. So, the only thing that I wish it could come with is the disc instead of the, you know, standard D pad. Could have been like that. But, anyways, it's just like that. You know, nothing too special. The little green switches there for your triggers. Sensitivity. I'm not sure if you noticed, but since it's up, you could take it all the way down. Flip it down, it only goes in a little bit. Oops, see, I'm going to do it this way. But yeah. Um, on a personal note, I like it. It's awesome. I appreciate it. You know, I don't remember what your name is. Or your, your eBay name or whatever. But thanks for the controller. You know, I really like it. Still trying to get used to the buttons. But anything. I don't like that. Um, good news is. I got my washer and dryer. Came in today. It all works. And I got myself my own little survival knife. This thing is sick. Lightweight, extremely sharp. There's there's the brain. Yep. Yeah. Not too bad. The thing I'm going to change on it is I'm going to, I'm going to take the string off and I'm actually going to get paracord. So, it is very sharp. You know, I'm surprised with that. But, yeah. Um, boys are doing good. Say hi, Thomas. Can I say hi? He says hi. Edwin is sleeping. He had a long day today. Yeah, like a very, very long day. He had physical therapy this morning. He's done with that. So happy. But yeah, it comes. I like it because it comes in its own little personal carrying case I like to have you know the smaller sticks on there and everything like that oh um real quick I'm gonna show you let's put the sticks on I'll show you how to uh configure your control it's, it's pretty basic pretty easy actually um, let's see. I'm not sure if you can. Yeah, 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 dude. Shut up. Um, that is significantly more than your expectations. Box of wheat. Wheat. I want you to get into that review. You see, this is still. I'm still trying to get used to the area. Back, 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 back. back. Sure, you're gonna leave? Yes. Okay. Really, dude. I'm gonna show you. In case you guys want to add me on there, that's my name right there. That's my picture. Um, but this is what you do. You down. To, well, you push your settings button, go all the way down to settings, go to connect and devices, devices and accessories. But first you got to sync up your controller and everything. It'll already automatically recognize that it's a Xbox One Elite controller. 
Um, the little switches, I'm not sure, oh, here, hold on, big ass fucking finger, those little switches right there where it says default one, and Forza Horizon 3, those are for your paddles, press here to configure, over here at this side you got your default, I'll show you. Okay, then you take your paddles, press and hold one. Here, hold on. Oh, go up to new configuration. Config one. Okay. Button mapping. If you press and hold the top left paddle like so and then you press okay let's say I want it to be X it changes the X okay and press it again make it a so that's basically all you do is you press and you hold any paddle that you want on there okay just press and hold them and then push what button you want it to. Now, if you're like me, and you also like racing games, but you like to drive in manual, but you don't want to mess up your configuration that you want to. So all you do is do the slots. Try. You see how I have one? That has default and then Forza Horizon 3. I'm going to show you the difference. It's not going to show the difference. Forza Horizon 3 looks if you notice how the buttons change no they don't change but yeah that I'm not sure what community configurations are um, but you know you can custom literally customize it to however you want so, all oh, community configurations is this. You can, like, like, Halo 5. And you got Rocket League, Gears of War, Sunset Overdrive, Warframe. You know, just typical bullshit. But, you know, it's whatever. I don't... It don't really matter. No, hell no. Fuck that. But. Yeah. It's really not that much to, you know. Really. Is that how it is? Huh? But anyways, guys, I thought I'd give you guys, you know, a review on it. So, and like I said, thanks for the controller. I really like it. I don't see any flaws in it. Even though I wish I could have had the disc thing, but, you know, I ain't going to be picky. I'll pick one up, you know, later down on the road. All right. This is Outlaw signing out. Like and subscribe. So, stay frosty.